Meatball is the launch pad, and we are on our way. <laughs> Moonbound. What's going on? My name is Andrew, and we are currently on the precipice of an important question. Are hedge funds losing control, or are they simply reloading? We have a couple of opportunities to take a look at the data itself, as well as this blue arrow for the macro pennant currently approaching its breakout at the uh, end of this month. Not only that, but we have uh, data from the SEC themselves telling you exactly how to reset the clock on FTD. So what is the true value of the short interest? Because they seem to be rising even as the Ortex reports it. Remember, we are looking at heavily manipulated data from Ortex and yet with these very suspicious options chains right here, looking at deep in the money calls, about 30 six 33 million dollars worth of calls deep in the money from a day's worth of options alone on amc as well as tum as well as tall lumbering puts at 380 and 390 someone rightfully asked in the comments down below that they said hey aren't uh puts normally supposed to be uh, below the price action because you're betting that the price of the stock will go lower is this a bullish sign all this and more if you guys wouldn't mind slamming that like until we get to 2950 likes that is what we're currently going for because that is how close we are that is just how close we are to a potential double squeeze on amc a potential gme cup and handle finally playing out after getting rebalanced to the russell 1000 and the most suspicion options chain that you have seen today if not i've ever seen in my months of tracking this price action let's get going so now that we have talked about amc's golden pennant a couple of times note that the breaking down below it significantly by the way because the end of this pennant was supposed to be at 48 42 around 6 11 just 10 days after that gamma squeeze officially initialized so that is a 10 day pennant the gold one right here. This white one here has many more touch points, right? It has significantly more uh, capacity to take a full look at $88, if not $77. We don't do price points here, but we know that the last time that this golden bullish pennant broke out, we had a 50% rip from the low 40s all the way up to $65. So that's why that blue arrow right here is a proxy for just how much price action we can expect from AMC side. And these deep in the money calls seem like that they're helping. A lot of the blue on the options chain is supposedly a ramp to get us up to 145. In fact, every single day since the gamma squeeze in the beginning of June, more and more calls have been added at the right side of this call chain. And it begs the question, what are people doing at the far left side of the options chain here at the $30 strikes and the $33 strikes? Well, we looked at a DD from Creand and he pulls the SEC text itself about this very intuitive. In fact, so intuitive, you'll say that it is a steal not to manipulate the stock if you were in a hedge fund's shoes. Let's say that there's two traders, A, and we can call them the Melvins or any other um, hedge fund that would like to be short the stock, either AMC or GME, and B, a market maker like Citadel. Essentially what a short uh, position needs to do it, to hide their short position is that they are going to enter a buy right trade with trader B. If you don't understand what that means, essentially they're trading stocks back and forth, some of which don't exist, right? These synthetic longs can be written by the market makers here. So if Citadel is in this box right here, that's the market maker, and then the shorts are a hedge fund that has a short position. They would like to hide how much they are truly short. So they pass along some shares to Citadel that are hidden in deep in the money calls. And the reason why they're deep in the money is so that they have little to no OI that the trade can be guaranteed between this trader and this trader. Because the premium on those deep in the money calls are going to be expensive. Then Citadel brings those shares back to the short but now they're no longer the same they're not the same synthetic ftd they are a completely new synthetic long that will eventually ftd 
fail to deliver, and then it will reset the clock. Don't believe either of us, don't believe Creon or me. Take a look at the SEC website itself. This is, um, this is wording from that website telling you exactly how to reset the clock. So we are looking at just how much Op, uh, just how much short interest is being hidden deep, deep, deep in the options chain, right? Millions, 30 million today alone. And this has been going on for quite some time. Go back to the 17th. Go back any point in the options chain using the link in the description to take a look at the options sonar tool, and you'll be able to see exactly that if this ever loads. Uh, on the other hand, GME has not seen these put walls, right? This is a completely different attempt to try and drive GME price action down. These walls here are essentially if the price of GME stays below 380 or 390, they can be exercised at any point to break crucial technical patterns. So for example, this, uh, this handle can't go too much further than the halfway point on the left and right side of the cup. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, go back to the mouse and then go to the daily. To the daily on this side, excuse me, and then take a look at that cup and pat cup and handle here. Actually, I have to go to the weekly. That's how big it is now. That was the original cup and handle from J January to March, and this is the now the new and improved larger one from March to June. And so, if this handle goes far any deeper than the uh, halfway point on this cup, then it's much less likely to break out, effectively taking away the potential uh, coerced buying effects of the cup and handle. So now that we know what is at stake, we know that these are actually very bullish puts because they are betting in a very safe way that the price of the stock will stay below 380 and 390. Imagine if these deep in the money calls get out of the money, then they would have spent a ridiculously large premium just to have absolutely nothing happen to the stock. Right, they paid 300, 380 and 390 plus an additional premium just to do nothing to the stock. And that is the ultimate, uh, the ultimate I'm running out of options sign from the hedge funds themselves, right? And they wouldn't be putting this here if they truly didn't have any other option, right? They could continue short laddering the, uh, the stock. And the reason why we know that they now have to turn to alternate, uh, Manipulative tactics is that NSCC002 has been active since Thursday. Now it's T plus two, right? It's been two days since Thursday in terms of trading days. And that means that we are going to see very, very small but defined changes in the way that they short the stock. In fact, today we could barely see any shorting activity at all as GameStop and AMC have seen massive changes in the upward direction for both uh, of these stocks, AMC slightly more so. So nearing the $60 round, right? Coming around to $60, AMC is feeling like there is very little that can stop it now. However, the SEC has shown that we have plenty of different manipulative tactics that they have said don't do this in this exact same way, kind of like saying this is how you build a pipe bomb, but make sure you don't do it. So what is actually going to be done about this and will Tuesday or Wednesday be the end of this bullish pennant that AMC is currently tracking, or will it be GME's turn? Either way, we will be here with you, bell to bell, making sure that you guys know exactly what is up. One of you has been asking me a question, such as, Andrew, do you have a Weeble referral link, Main Arbor? Of course I do. You can go ahead and take a look at the description down below for two free stocks. That is the same trading software that I've been using to chart these, uh, these two stocks right here. Also, if you wanted to support the show, other than pressing that Weeble link or the BlockFi link that gets you $250 of free Bitcoin, then you can join the Moon Platoon by pressing the join button in the description next to the subscribe button, or you can go ahead and slam the Patreon link to join one of these guys here. Thanks again. We're really close to 111,000 subscribers, so it'll be a great it would be a great idea to submit your art to Andrew Money on Instagram before that date comes around. Hope you guys have a nice day, and we'll see you in the money. Peace.